there's not just a list of which of these gives Tim what skill.
stupid yawning. Job for me. I'll take care of this. You guys need to go on to the deepest depths. After I finish here, I'll follow. We'll operate independently. Right. I understand. Then we'll meet up at the deepest depths. Okay, let's go. Goodbye, Bradley. Or not. my friends, but...
someone's in there. Can't be found, so I won't open the door. Hmm. I'm transmitting. I wonder how I can intercept the message. Sir, the guard robot is ready. This one has a bad radar radiator. Sharp temperature change could cause the robot to shut down. Until the new radiator comes, all we can do is improvise. Understood. Use string and gum if you have to, soldier. That bad does sound like the military. Catch hell for losing it. I'd better find it right away. I think I have left it. Uh, in our hands. Here.
soundtracks, and Wild Arms has always been one of them. Star Ocean is the other one. Much as I do not like Star Ocean 3, the soundtrack for Star Ocean 3 is chaotic. But in a good way. of game uh, competition Wild Arms Star Ocean and Grandia always had games coming out with Final Fantasy games so a lot of times well I mean you also had Breath of Fire so games like Wild Arms became like a back burner because more people wanted to play Final Fantasy than this weird steam punky uh, western, but not quite western, like outer space western, I guess. Kind of has the aesthetic of, of uh, Bash the Stamp Speed in a way. Where they've got Wild West weapons mixed, except for you've got magic users. Music has always been on the Western side of things. And I've got to say, their, their creature creation department really, really. I mean, these bad guys look so normal. But usually it just looks like somebody took a whole bunch of different shapes and a 3D uh, creature creator and then added eyes to it. If there's a way to put boobs on something, they put boobs on something. They definitely, hands down, have to <laughs> The company's coming back. They got Arm Fantasia that could be out next year. Uh, Sony never gave them the ability to take Wild Arms with them, so it is a new it's a new Wild Arms game, but it's not a new Wild Arms game. I'm looking forward to it. Commander, it's time to change the password. We're using Now, right? No, sir, that was the last one. We're using on the moon. O N M. Okay. That's what I was about to say. Anywho, change the password according to the code book. Yes, sir.
Engineer. later game systems. So it wouldn't be all too terribly hard to bring the rest of the Wild Arms forward and give them a little refresh. I mean, currently, if you have a PlayStation Play Pass, you can play Wild Arms 1, 2, and 3. You cannot play 4, 5, and 6. Or the remake. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, Triple A, I am doing great. I'm tired. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Same thing with religion. Differences are differences. Differences are good. Differences make us human. <laughs> Having 
having been in Alaska the majority of my life, uh, it is not unheard of that the presidential election is over before polls in Alaska are closed. I mean, the state gets one vote. It's not very important. I know, I know. Everybody's vote counts. Your vote counts state if you're from a small a small tiny 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 populated state and no we don't all know Sarah Paul He's supposed to be learning anyways. I have no idea what he's learning. What is he learning? Uh, 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 uh. Anywho, I've seen last few reps when the Congress get limited and got the cuts of the shows that only impact them and then they vote. Yeah, it's Alaska does not have the power that it needs. Things that affect oil, logging, fish, wildlife, native rights, infrastructure. I mean, Alaska is a, a different beast than most states in the United States, and it sucks that they don't have the power do anything. But well, that's what you get for being the largest land mass, but the smallest populated because it's too expensive to live there. Thank you. 
Am I gonna get to disc two? Eh, maybe. Hi, Punk. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. Hope you're having a great day. Track of the Wild Arms is amazing. Like, I'm not even tired of listening to the soundtrack. There's so many games that I get tired of listening to what their, their background track is. Uh, it's pretty boring considering the incursion by arms. No, it's way too mellow. Did arms really attack? Don't sweat it. Let the patrol bots take care of them. Yeah, yeah, those, those control patrol bots there. They're they're doing their their thing. They're giving us experience. Oh yeah, sometimes the 14 tracks and cities went to me to sleep. Right? Like I get it. I'm I am not the biggest Final Fantasy fan. I have all of them. I have played the majority of them. I have only finished one of them out of all 16. Plus tactics and Final Fantasy. They have some iconic music, but. because they can't compete with Final Fantasy. I've been working through the first six Final Fantasies and there are different games in that series that I have already forgotten about. Working is incredible to me, but I can't think of any other Final Fantasy that I exist without. Right? Like, I played Final Fantasy XIV until I had nobody to play with. I, I don't do MMOs. I don't do... I don't do well teaming up with people I don't know and getting to know people in, in games. Just me being shy. I have a status report. Sir, invading arms troops have destroyed several guard and patrol bots. I see. Those arms guys have been lucky. But we can't let them get any further into the interior taking our defenses. Yes, ma'am. Hey, you two, hiding over here. I was told not to hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. And so far, let's see. What? One through six, kinda, eh, I can take them or leave them. The problem with the first ones is that they didn't come out in the US in order. And then it got really confusing because they had to renumber everything because then they did release them in order. 
And you also had games like the first Mana game that came out here being called Final Fantasy Adventure. But it got confusing. I probably mentioned it before the story was the kind of game I was thinking about. The second story was also great, and I beat that at the start of the year. So wait, uh, me and Till the End of Time are not on speaking terms, but I love second story. I love it. Uh, my top Star Wars games for me would be one, two, and four. They're the ones I've spent the most time in. Otherwise, I played all of the Grandias, most of the Wild Arms growing up, uh, all of the Breath of Fire growing up. I don't know, I've just, I've loved their storytelling and characters and, and game development more than the Final Fantasies. Like, the characters for Star Ocean Second Story are more in my mind when I stop and think about games I've enjoyed growing up and even recently than any of the characters from Final Fantasy. I mean, I'm a weirdo. I, I'm from that generation that you were either a Final Fantasy 7 or a Final Fantasy 8 person. And I could never get into Final Fantasy but I really, really love Final Fantasy VIII the ultimate weapon fight that took four hours and then I lost. And that was the last time I played that game. That was the closest I came to beating a Final Fantasy game back when it first came out. Six irritated the hell out of me because at no point did it encourage you to level up 12 of your party members until you get to the final boss place. And it's like, here, you need to use 12 party members. We know you've never used them, but you're going to use them now. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, nine, I like the characters. I didn't like the gameplay. Ten, I like the characters. And the story for me is kind of forgettable because then you had Ten Two that came out and I was more confused how their outfits got so much tinier when they were already tiny. Like, how did Riku's outfit get so much smaller? She was already in a bikini. Pretty boring considering the incursion of arms. Hey, he's saying the same thing. Okay. Oh, 
our playthrough. The first one from Claude's perspective. And I also didn't realize there were so many potential endings. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see all 99 endings, you can go to my YouTube channel. And there is a video with all 99 endings. I don't have my live stream where I showed them because my audio was doing funny things and there was no audio. But yeah, there are 99 endings, which is more than original because they added in... Oh, what? They added in the characters. I will replay it when I am over the fact that I beat the game so many times to get all 99 endings. Oh, they're fun. There are some of them that are very cringe. Just the more. There are some very cringy ones. And it was the multiple endings. That's why I like the Star Ocean series. I like the potential. That's commitment. That is more commitment than I've put into most games. I do not, I do not farm endings usually, but I don't know, content creation, I'm supposed to do more than just live streaming. And I thought it would be fun. And all it's done is made it so that I'm like, great, I can beat that game in just a few hours now. It was fun. Now, now it'd be worth it to do the farming for the ending because it gives you a star for every time you beat the game. That would be fun. That, that, that would be like a badge of honor, how many stars I would have from getting all them endings. But don't expect to see me doing live streams with that kind of stuff. cozy games like Harvest Moon and stuff where once you beat the story there's actually a lot more to do. So the big bonus to going uh, with Rena's point of view is you get Dias. Dias will join your team permanently, and he is worth it. He is hands down one of the best swordsmen you can get in the game. Way. I'm spending all that time over there in that other hallway for nothing. 